Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps of Beauty and it is a cold Wednesday night for the first day of spring here in New Jersey. And if you're watching over on YouTube, this is a live stream with live people. And I will be showing a few things in the beginning, so if you're not interested in that, just fast forward 5 or 10 minutes and then we will get into the project tonight. <laughs> So at first I wanted to show off, um, I started teaching again at my local scrapbook store. So this is um, a, uh, May's, uh, I think that's May, May's classes. So kind of like Mother's Day one, you can see my cute little bears there. And then so it's a two page layout, 12 by 12. So it goes just like this. I can't get it all on the screen. But here is, it says, that face and then it's a cute little bear, and then Mrs. Potato Head. <laughs> so, so I thought it would be good for Mother's Day or little babies or anything, really. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sue. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I like this one. I like the colors in this. I like the jade green. Even though it's got a lot of flowers. See, I'm using my flowers, so <laughs> I'm getting rid of my flowers. <laughs> um, so that's that one. And then this one is... Um, for May also. I think it might be June's class. I'm not sure. But look away, Eileen. <laughs> look away. But this one's got, I'm going to call it Pretty in Pink. So she hates pink and she hates pink birds. <laughs> and then here is um, my little flamingos. I'm looking for, remember the dye I showed you guys that I got a Hobby Lobby? It was like a, a palm leaf. Of course I can't find it, but when I do, I want to put that right here. So I'm just missing that. So... <laughs> So cute, right? So those are my classes for next month. And then after the classes, what I'll do is um, I put the class sample on my, I'll put it in my store. So if anybody's interested in that, you can uh, purchase it in my store. <laughs> uh, yes, pink and pink birds. Nothing I can do about it. They love the lingos there, so <laughs> I have to please them too. All right, so tonight we are going to continue with the second part of Seth's, um, I'm looking for my samples here, second part of Seth's class that I took at the Queen's Inc. All right, let me just move this here. So this is a class that um, I wasn't too, too happy with my project, so hopefully tonight's project will come out a little bit better. Hi, Janet! <laughs> um... So I don't know what I did with my little samples that I just had here. I mean, I just had it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Got them. So I'm going to go over this again. So if you um, missed the stream that I did on Sunday night, we did um, use the beeswax. And this was a project that we created. We used the um, Rocky Road. We used some of the um, Fractured Ice. The um, ancient um, gold, I don't know if you can see that there, and um, some of the little crystal beads. So actually, I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the fractured ice, which I really like a lot. It's like glittery, and it's got some, um, like, uh, what do you call it? Sparkle, you can see the sparkle in there. And this is what it looks like on white. I showed this last week. So this is the deep sea on white, which is like a teal color, the rocky road. This one is the sand. This one is the ancient gold. This is the chunky rust, and then that's the beeswax. And then on black, it looks like this. The deep sea, you can see it's got the teal color. Sorry, I was <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I had one little thing to show. Oh, yeah, I didn't show it, but I'll show it now. Um, this is the ancient amber. That's the gold. That's the chunky rust. The beeswax, you can see, is just clear on black. This is the um, rocky road. So it's kind of black and white. And then this is the patina one. <laughs> yeah, I was asking them. Usually, they, anybody who sees mermaids, they usually tell me right away, oh, such and such, they got a mermaid stamp. So I did get this one from um, Unity, Unity Stamps, and it's a cute little mermaid girl. And it says, always be on the lookout in the presence of wonder. But I like the mermaid. She's pretty big, too. It's about uh, probably like four inches. So we can see that there. <laughs> so that was my only thing to show. <laughs> so tonight we're going to do... Um, 
try to attempt. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. Uh, try to attempt. Oh, every time I say Rocky Road, you want ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to use Seth's paints. I haven't decided. So I want to do a steampunk one. So he actually gave us these boards. And the project I did is on the other side, which I don't really care for. Which if you saw my stream before, you, you'd have seen that one. I'm not showing it again. So we can either do, since we are doing steampunk, we can use any of these colors. So I'm thinking of doing the caramel and the pumpkin soup, but pretty close. So maybe we'll go with, let's do the caramel. <laughs> thanks, Joan. <laughs> yeah, that's a cute stamp. It is, I mean, thanks. Um, so we'll go with the caramel. So he usually, in the class, he made us pick three. We picked um, kind of like a light and a medium and a dark um, paint. So let's see. I can go with the the mud. I think the mud splat and these are going to be too dark. We might add them later. So we'll do this. So we'll do the toffee, the caramel, and the vintage lace. We'll see how that goes. Hi, Gail. <laughs> All right. So and I did forget to, that we have to gesso this. So we do have to gesso before. So just fast forward if you don't want to see the gessoing. <laughs> So I'm just going to pour this in here. I'm just going to give it a light coat. I saw Patty was uh, was being the weatherman today, posting how many. She got a lot more than we got right now. Right now we've only got about maybe two or three inches. I'm hoping by the time it finishes we only get like four. So and I am going to be putting an order in my store, which is shameless plug, paintandpaperstudio.com. So if any of you guys are interested in um, Jane Davenport's stencils or her dyes, I'll be carrying that. I'll be carrying the Dina Wakely Big Media Journal. Um, so if you're interested in anything, you can always email me. So I will be putting the order in probably at the end of the week. And then hopefully the first or second week I will have the products in my shop. So, but I'll let you know about that when I get it in. All right, there we go. So we have that lightly gessoed. All right. Hi, Lynn. All right, got that done. So I'm just going to heat gun, heat gun, um, just really quick. <laughs> um, hi, happy day. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're going to Maryland. That's going to be so fun. Tuesday morning. Oh, it's the snow. We didn't get that much so far, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we only wind up with four or five inches. All right. So what he does is... I'm trying to see what, he, what I want to do here. And then we can go over with the lighter. So this is what we're going to do. I just want to shake these up because I haven't used them in probably like two years. And I did get, I forgot to mention too in the video before, but Seth did give me his permission to um, show his techniques. So, and then like I said, um, on April 6th, it's just the first Friday of the month, uh, Barb Owen, which she is howtogetcreative.com over on uh, YouTube, will be um, streaming live with Seth. So if you're interested in asking him questions, 
about his paints. Um, you can go to Barb and she will um, ask the questions for you. So if anything you want to know what's coming up new, he does have some new products coming out. And his favorite brushes are to use these. I wish I had a bigger one. If this is I get it right from the um, hardware store, but he loves these dollar brushes. Uh, yeah, Seth, he's really good. <laughs> Both Patty and excited too. That's good. All right, so and what we're going to do is just mix these up. I might need a little bit more of this. here. So these are Seth's paints too. They are paper artsy paints. They're called the uh, Fresco Finish. It's like a chalk acrylic. It's very matte. And he just came out with some new paints I believe. He had them over on, um, I think he had it posted on Facebook today. So you don't want to cover up everything. I always forget he always says not to cover up the whole thing. <laughs> but he likes the brush strokes. You can see with this brush you could get really a lot of um, brush strokes in here. Refresh. Who needs to refresh? Florida Linda. There you are. Welcome. Well, thanks, guys, for hanging out with me tonight. The snowy spring. <laughs> First day of spring. Still can't believe it. <laughs> Up north, they're getting, like, bombarded, really. All right. So then we have that. Oh, let me see. I need something to put this on. Should have got a little palette or something. Just stick it there. So you can see you're just mixing the two colors. I didn't go as dark with the dark one. So we're going to dry that. So heat gun. Oh, we have you have to get the um, ad blocker so you don't get the commercials. 82 degrees in Florida, I know. You and Eileen. <laughs> and it's going to be still kind of cold. Like, I don't think the snow is going to be melting right away. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> Yeah, ad blocker will up, stop the ads for you. Yep. All right, so now we're going to go with the, so after we did this, he had us come in with the, the lighter one. And I want to get some baby wipes. Baby wipe. I hope I have enough baby wipes. This is like the bottom of the barrel here. So what we're going to do is add some of this. I've got to shake this one up. And again, this is one of, I think, pretty sure this is one of his. What's nice about these paints, too, you can see they have, um, they actually do hand, I think they do these by hand. So that you can see that they're opaque. So this one's opaque. And this one is semi-opaque, this darker one. I might have to go back in with some of that. All right, and so then I'm going to just add a little bit of this around. We don't want to make it totally white again. And then I don't even bother to... Hi, CB. I 
So we don't want to cover the whole thing up. We want to see some of the layers from um, underneath. wipe just some of this off of this. Now you can't have enough baby wipes. That is true. <laughs> and I like to kind of keep my layers in the middle kind of light. My gosh, what is that noise? <laughs> All right, so then we're going to dry this. So you can see there, it's just kind of a, just looks like a mismatch of stuff right now. So he gone. <laughs> Did you hear from <clears throat> Jen CB? Do you see she can't go with us to Melbourne? So you guys are going to be <laughs> trusting me to drive while we're in Melbourne. <laughs> oh, I was really hoping she was going so I didn't have to drive. <laughs> You know, they drive on the left side of the road, so I haven't done... I mean, I drove when I was in St. Thomas, but that was, like, years ago. <laughs> Alright, so then you can see now that if there's any spots that you don't like, you can just rub it back with this... Um, have this on to make but they're like bugging me today so I want to lift some of that up and you can still do that when you got the um, with the baby wipe and you could almost take it back to the color <laughs> yes you do I know <laughs> it's gonna be scary <laughs> Now I'm just trying to get, I want to get some of these hard lines off of here. So I kind of like that. That looks pretty good, I think. So you see that? And he's all about the layers. He likes to um, really create a lot of layers. Driving here. Oh, it's easy driving? Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks, Gail. Oh, yeah, remember last year in that rain? Gail and I, we were we were coming back from, where were we coming back from? Hobby Lobby or it's a Queen's Inc.? And we got lost and we were in like torrential rain. Oh, my gosh, it was terrible. But we made it. We made it back. <laughs> I always meet like Pat. We leave before Patty leaves, but we wind up getting there after Patty. I don't know how that works out. It always does, though. <laughs> All right. So let's make sure I have this the right way. So there we go. Yeah, it'll work out. I'm sure it will. All right, so now thank you, Joan, because of Joan, I didn't have to spend an hour die cutting stuff. So let's see, what do I have here? So we want to add some. What he did was he took a focal point, like wherever he didn't like something. So he actually stamped um, like three different things and he added a word on his. So let's see what we're going to do with ours. So we do want to do some stamping. Let me get my stencils. Hold on. Have that. The Queen's out. Oh, we were coming from the Queen's sink. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like, oh my gosh. That was really bad, bad rain. All right. So I think I'm going to use this darker one. This one is the toffee to do some of the stamping. So let's see what we're going to do for our focal point. So, let's put that there. I do have these that Joan gave me. 
Um, I also have, let me try to look. I have the Mechanicals from Finnebar. Oh, I have these cute little owls. These are Jolie owls. So I was thinking maybe we might use one of those and we might use this like a branch. So let's decide what we're going to use for our focal point first. Oh, I have these cute little butterflies as well. I know her. Yep, that's so good. I'll have to ask you, Joan, too. One of the die cuts, I want to know who makes that one. It's really. All right. So I'm thinking we could probably. I think we might use this one. Maybe this one here. We might use that. I'll have to bring you in. Let me bring you in one closer. There we go. And then if we use uh, one of these mechanicals for a branch. Oh, she loves owls. Yeah. So let's see what we want to use. We want to put the owl. That's a little bit thick. Maybe we'll just use this little one. So we can actually maybe stick something like this. So he says to pick a spot that you really don't like to cover up, but I, I kind of like this background compared to my last background that we did. <laughs> I like this one a lot better. Um, so let me just see where it's going to go. So we might use that. You love owls too, Joan? I didn't know that. All right. I wish they made these. Are these they had a whole bunch of um, like Jolie gears and stuff, but they just don't make them anymore. So I love all of these. So I'm thinking we might use these as the photo corners. Also, have, this is one of Kaiser Craft one. I thought I was going to use that, but it's too big, I think. So these are all die cuts that Joan had gifted me. So let's see what we have here. I'm just going to pull them all out. The owls are cute, right? <laughs> all right. So I think they might be just, I was going to put them on all four corners, but I think maybe just two corners. Joan, who makes this die? I, I want to get this die. I saw them with the steampunk stuff, so I never even noticed them. They're like coffee cake, coffee rings. Who makes this die? Can you tweet it to me or send it to me on Facebook, please? I love this die. All right. So let's see. So we have that. I also have these, too. I thought these would be. I, I love these wings. You see the wings that she sent me? So maybe we might even just do this. These might be a little too heavy. So let's see. Oh, I love these coffee cake ones. I might even just have to put them in here <laughs> just because. Um, so I'm thinking about doing something like this. Maybe something like that. And something like that. You love all animals? <laughs> all right, so. And then I have the butterfly, too, that I could stick in here. Like that. Cute little, just cute little clock. And the cute little dragonfly, I like that one, too. Okay, thanks, Joan. <laughs> it's just so cool. It's just like, I think I have to just put that in there because I like it. <laughs> um... We might do that in the ancient gold. All right, so we have that. So I'm thinking maybe. Maybe I might just put that and that in there. Maybe I'll just put two. Maybe I'll put them on this in the corner. We're going to paint them gold so they won't be standing out so much. What would the die cut wings look behind the owl? <coughs> Let's see. <coughs> that might be pretty cool. Oh. 
Oh yeah, I think that will be cool, but I'm going to... So I think that will look cute like that. And then we'll do some stamping. That's cute. Hi, Orla. <laughs> All right, so we need some matte medium. Let's see where that is. Gel medium is a good thing. So I think I'm going to emboss these first. So I think we're going to do these and the wings and that fractured ice, because I love that fractured ice. And I think these I'm going to do in the ancient. So let's do that first. We have to emboss these first. And then we'll have to stamp the background. All right, so uh, where is my little pad? You love the owl? Everybody loves the owls. I didn't know so many people love owls. All right, here we go. All right, so we'll do the fractured ice one first. Let me move this out of my way. And then we have some of these gears I can put on there, too. So we'll have to decide. We'll do these first. So those are going to get embossed. And these are going to get embossed. <laughs> the thumbs up, you have to do parentheses and a Y, I think it is, capital Y. And another parentheses. We're going to do these first. This is going to be done in the ancient gold. Just because I think they're so cool. So let's see. This one is the ancient amber. That's what I mean, ancient amber. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'll stick that in here. One, oh, with pop dots, yeah. Maybe I'll pop dot the owl out. This one doesn't look like it's all the way inked. So let me try this one again. So this is the one that's got some black, um, like floss in it. I had some tweezers. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any tweezers out here. Let's just pick it up with this. I'm going to have to hold these down, too, because they're just going to blow away. Oh. All right. All right, so let's see. I'm probably going to have to do these one at a time. Hopefully these won't blow. Where are you going? 
Australia has road tollways paid to the public workers depending on where you drive. So, oh, okay. Thank you. I will check that out. All right, he come. This one here. Oh. So we have that then. You can buy e-tags for the windscreen. We're only going to probably rent a car for that first day. Put this in here. Um, not the first day, but when we go to the national park. So I think after that, we probably will just make our way around. All right, so we have that done. So you can see how pretty that looks. You can see those. And I don't mind if some of the black shows through. Now we're going to do the fractured ice. So we're going to do the wings. I don't want to waste this cute little gear in the middle, so I'm going to chop that off. <laughs> so, thanks, Joan. <laughs> Maybe we'll use this somewhere else. So the fractured ice has that like glitter. Um, you see, I still have some of that black. See the black foss on the bottom. Higher place should help you out. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thanks, Eileen. Yeah, I like them embossed. I'm trying to get most of that black. Alright, so on this one we're going to do, um, and this isn't part of Seth's, this one is the Fractured Ice. I love it because it's like holographic and glittery. I like this one a lot. <laughs> Alright, so we'll do the same thing. Yeah, I think my color choices were not that great when I did my one that I did in class, so be sure to pick some good color choices when you go, Eileen. <laughs> I just wasn't wild about. I had a different thing in mind. I had this like tropical, like blue, yellow, orange, and it wound up being like red, white, and blue. <laughs> it was like ugh, nasty. <laughs> nasty. <laughs> Alright, so those are the wings. You can get a bossing pen that would look oh yeah, an embossing pen would be good, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait for Seth to announce, hopefully when he goes on Barb's show, that he'll announce when, when the new colors are coming out. He almost sounded like it was going to be soon, like six months, but I don't know if that's true or not. So, I'm sure I have it all there. There's that one. Yeah, and the same thing too. Like this was a project that he used the metals. So Eileen, if you want to um, bring any metals with you, because the girl in front of me, um, she did her steampunkish, and she brought a lot of gears, and it looked really good. She had a guy's head, and she had some like light bulb paper, old you know vintage the uh, tubes, you know, and um, hers looked really good. So this way you have an idea of you know kind of what you want to do. <laughs> 
So I just want to make sure I have that all. And make sure you bring a heat gun because they got the classes mixed up. So nobody was told to bring a heat gun. And, um, and an embossing, uh, juicy embossing uh, pad. So make sure you bring that with you when you go. All right. Let me put that over there. All right. So we're going to do this with the fractured ice. Hi, Misha. <laughs> Hi, Deb. Welcome. Welcome to anybody who's new. All right. So this one is the fractured ice. And you can see this one has, if you can see that, it's got glitter in it. It's got all kinds of different things. Black little crystals and blue and clear. If you can see it, aqua crystals in there. This one I think is my favorite. <laughs> I hope they make this in a bigger jar because I would love this in a bigger jar. <laughs> I know the beeswax one he said is going to be in a bigger jar, but I don't know about these others. I should have got tweezers. I wish I had a pair of tweezers. Yeah, you're welcome, Eileen. It was the same thing. I wish we would have known kind of what the project was. Because I would have brought um, like different things than um, like I didn't bring any metals and I would have brought like different stencils than I had. But it's, it all worked out. Oh, try not to get my hands on that. All right, wait till you see this one. This one, I think, is the one you can really see the most, how it changes. Well, I'd like to see what other kind of embossing powders they have, because they're certainly um, different, unique. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Hopefully I can hold it up far enough away that it won't blow them. Nope. <laughs> you see how that changes right away? Silvery specks in it too. Oh, hold on. So I'll bring that up. It's got kind of like, can you see that there? Like, see this one spot, like right in there? It's kind of like um, like a silver, but it's really glittery. Like, this is one of my favorite ones, this one. Probably it's too shiny on there. Let me see if I can put it on, the, on this. You could see it better, maybe. But you can see all the glitter in that one. All right, so we have all our pieces. So let's stick that over there. All right, so I want to do some stamping as well. So let's do that next. So I think I'm going to stamp. I wish I had some of this stays on in brown, but I've only got it in this purple color. I don't think that's going to work on here. So let's see, I do have some brown. So 
So I'm going to ink the edges, first of all, in the brown. I'm going to do the inside as well. Hi, Miss Allie. <laughs> All right. All right, to make sure I get this the right way. get some stamping done. This is an old Prima stamp, so I'm just going to get some writing on there. So we've got just some writing. It's hard for you guys to see. It's because it's in the brown. But you can see it there. All right, so I've got some of that. What else? Well, this is one of the dies that Joan had um, gifted me. I think I'm going to stamp um, with that if I can find a little cotton. I should have a little piece of cotton around. Maybe not. Well, hold on, see if I can find one. everything. Okay, I got one. So I think I'm going to use the same brown. I think I might do the gears on the edge here. So just a little hint. You can see that there. Oh, my computer is gone to sleep. You can see this a little hint there. Trying to stand this up here. Oh, let's see. Did I lose my chat? I don't see anybody in there. Let me see. Hold on a second. Oh, I did. I did lose my chat. Oh, darn it. It's going to be one of those nights I could see. So hold on a second. Watch it on YouTube. Just kind of fast forward. I don't know, do you guys still hear me and uh, see me? Do you hear me and see me? Because I don't know. See anybody in the chat? Um, let me see. Mm, do you hear me? Do you hear me? See me? <laughs> Let's see. 
Eileen, if you can hear me, I tweeted you. Let me know if you guys can still hear me or see me. I apparently, I don't know what's going on with my chat there. Hold on. Uh, let me have to refresh my chat, maybe. <coughs> okay, now. Okay, you're back. I see you. You guys are back. <laughs> you're back. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so then we have some of that there you can see, and that I'm good. Thank you, CB. All right, so let's add some of our oh my gosh, do you hear the? Can you hear those uh, plows? They're just coming in now. All right, so let's see. I think I'll have to add this with some matte medium. We should use my glue, but um, glue is in the other room. Look for just gel medium. <laughs> Me and Sarah Hamry. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why my cat, my chat was just like gone. All right, so I'm just gonna use my fingers so I can just attach some of this on here like this. I don't want to put a lot of matte medium on here, actually. probably should use more of Seth's dyes, but I just didn't have time to cut them out. <laughs> Plows. Yeah, we have snow. Yep, we have about four inches right now of snow. <laughs> I'm hoping um, it's supposed to go until, what's the 8 o'clock, like another three hours. <laughs> so I'm hoping it doesn't, uh, it doesn't get to like six or eight inches. <laughs> All right, so we have that. So I think I like those there. I really love that fractured um, fractured ice. It's one of my favorites, that one. Um, the Emerald Creek, the same person. Um, you can get them from Seth if you um, email him um, on his website. I believe he carries it also. You just have to, he just, I don't think he had to put it in his shop yet. But he will. The Emerald Creek, that's the name of the company that he works for that sells his um, embossing powders. Oh, I can't get this one to stay. There we go. You didn't have any snow? Oh my gosh, yeah. Up north, I feel bad for them. They really are getting bombarded. All right, so we got that going. <laughs> it's not coming to Wisconsin now. It's, it's going east. It's going out to the um, probably to where Gene is, I would think, now. <clears throat> when it finishes with us, it'll go up towards um, Halifax, probably. <coughs> All right, so we have that so far. Cute. I like this so much better than my first one. <laughs> oh, that first one was a, a doozy. All right. 
So we have our owl. We have to put our, our wings. Oh, I might have to move this one over a little. Darn it. Ah. Aren't they cute? I love the wings. Good idea, Happy Diane. Thank you for suggesting it. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. <laughs> Some of these, and I've got some metals too. Uh, what? What with what? <laughs> Fat cats covered in bossing powder? Yes, they're covered in the fractured, in that fractured um, ice. That's the one with the glitter, the glitter in the holographic lake. Yeah, she cut them out of black cardstock, and then, oh, like I did the wings too. I did the the fractured um, ice on there. You can see that. Hi, Jamie. Hi, what was I thinking? <laughs> um, Joan made them for me, the die cuts. But you can get them, um, I forget the name of the company. Is it Susan something? Maybe Joan could put it in the chat for you guys um, who makes those dies. I have to get them, and they're so cool. I definitely want to get them. All right. You cut them out. Elizabeth, yeah, cut with Elizabeth dies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So what else shall we put in here? I'm liking it the way it is so far. Maybe we could um, sprinkle some. Um, what do you call it? Maybe some antique gold on here. I'm trying to think. I wish I had an emboss. I don't have an embossing pen, but what else could we use? Oh, Sue, Sue Wilson. That's who they're by. Yeah, Sue Wilson. Probably could put a word. I want to see what else we have here. Maybe we can we can work on this border. Maybe I'll go up with the dies up this edge. Do more than one in here. Because I like the way that the dies hang over the edge. So I'm gonna put them in there like that. Maybe we'll do these with the gold. here so you can see that like that so I'm wondering if we should do these in maybe we should do them in another color what about the um, I think maybe we should just stick with the gold maybe I like these tiny little ones too Oh, thanks, Eileen. Oh, she, oh, who carries the dies? Thefranticstamper.com. Yep. So if you're over on YouTube and you're looking to see who might have these dies, it's um, Sue Wilson at the uh, Franticstamper.com. Seeing if we should add some more of these. Some metals, maybe I can put this. Let's see. I 
actually put some of these metals in there. So I think that's what I'm going to do with the edges. But now, those gears look great with Finn's paste on them. Aha! Uh -huh. With her texture paste? Probably with the, um, what's the granite one? Is there a granite one, I think? So the question is, should I keep it all in the black or should I do it in a different color? Emboss it. I could do it with the beeswax and that would just put like a glossy finish over it. Right, so let me get rid of these. Thank you again, Jim, for all these. That was a lot of cutting. <laughs> all right, let's see. I don't want to put a whole bunch of stuff on here. <laughs> I'm just be like Patty, just adding everything. Kitchen sink. <laughs> Where's the butterfly? Where's my little butterfly? I think I like the dragonfly there. What do you think? Any of her paste would look good. Oh, you mean the um, the ones in the jar? I might be able to get to those quick. So what do you think? I think it looks better with the dragonfly or without the dragonfly? <laughs> Maybe without. Yeah, that's the one on the top. So what, what color? Should I stick with the fractured ice or should I go with something else? Let me just stick these all in there. You think we need more stamping in the background? I have this cute little light bulb too. I can stick in here. Although if I do that and I want to use the other side, which I never will, <laughs> um, then I can't put the other side on there. Without the dragonflies. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> uh, yeah, the little jars. Oh, they would be cool. I'm trying to think where I actually have those. I think they're right next to me, I believe. All right, hold on a second while I well, let me add. So should I add these? I think I like the, I think I like that there. Would be nice to put some type of word maybe. I don't know what kind of word, but <laughs> something. Um, all right, let me see what I have here. Right, so just hold on a second while I go through my, I have my little cart right next to me. So hopefully they're right in there. It's going to move stuff off of it. Yes, they're right here. Favorite wordsmith? Who's that? <laughs> Kissy face. All right, so we have the old silver. I don't want to use that. We have the vintage silk we could use for the aged bronze. Uh, white gold. So maybe we'll stick with that. We'll try those. So let me stick these. Well, maybe I should put the vintage gold. Oh, we'll stick them down. Let's stick it down. We'll live dangerously. How's that? <laughs> All right. So I like this. I'm going to stick that down with some this. I don't really want a little paintbrush. I don't really want to ruin that. 
Um, I'm looking for a brush that I can use. It's not going to be. I'll choose this one. And then we'll add some of this. Though well, I don't know if these metals will stick with that. Might have to go with something heavier than this. We'll see if that sticks. <laughs> two weeks to you get to see in it. Hi, Sherry. Oh, the um, two more weeks and you guys are ready to go to Vegas. I came up quick, didn't it? <laughs> Peter Fest. It's too bad. Kathy will probably bring her little girl there. It would be nice to see her. She's so cute, isn't she? All right, so I'm just sticking this down with some gel medium. We'll stick this one down. Just go to. <laughs> should be neighbors. Yeah, she is. I think so, too. That'll be fun for everyone. Thanks for tweeting the mermaid paper. I see Julie Nutty's coming out with some mermaid paper. I saw that. one down and then we'll neighbors up. I'll just read in the chat for a second. <laughs> Did you have a lot of people sign up this time for um, PETA Fest, Sherry? I know some of us can make it. I know Jim Marie wasn't going this time. Me, I wasn't going. How about the girls from Australia that came last year? Are they coming this year, too? Oh, Julie Nutting coming to your local scrapbook store, Eileen? Cool. All right, so there we go. So we have all our pieces down. Let me just wipe this out. About 70. I think there were less because, oh, some canceled. The Australian girls, are they coming back? They were really nice. All right, so so we got that down so far as so you can see that. And then there's that. So I'm just going to put the heat gun to it. I don't know if it'll dry a little. And then we can rub it down with the wax. Now I go shopping. I'm going to go see my nice pose. <laughs> Pecan. I have to be careful because I have the embossing powder on there so it'll re, re melt. Ah. 
I doing? <laughs> Get some more glue on this one. This paper is really thick. I keep thinking I have two pieces on there. It's really good paper, Joan. What is my substrate? It's a wood panel. Just a wood panel. I flipped it over, though. It's the back of the wood panel. Because I don't like what's on the front of it. <laughs> I don't like what's on the front of it. All right. So let's see what we're going to start with. Let me see if I can get some black paper so we can see what this looks like. Show the black paper here. And then I use some um, Steph's Paper Artsy um, paint. All right, so let's see what this looks like. So let's try. So this one is the white gold. Girls from Netherlands are coming. Oh, they are? <laughs> Yeah, right. Um, one of my secret sisters was from the Netherlands. So that's a pretty one. So that is the white gold. So you can see that one. Kind of like goldy white. This one is the vintage silk. It's kind of white. More white like. Oh no, it looks white, but look how gold it is. It's really gold. Maybe we'll use that one. It's kind of almost like a coppery gold. Can you see that one there? It's more like copper. And then this one is the age brass. So let's see what this one looks like. So there's that one. So this is more orangey. So I think I'm going to use this one, the Age Brass. I know, and now they're carrying these in Michaels. So if you guys are interested in getting of these wax of Finnebars, they have them at Michaels now. Do you go to your um, Michaels, Eileen, to see what they have? All right. So let's, I'll bring you down a little bit closer, I think. You could see it just a little bit better, kind of far away. There we go, that's better. All right, so. So if you could see, oh, I guess you see. So you could see the, I don't want to put a lot on there. It's hard to see, but it looks cool. I like it a lot. See that there? Then I could see it right there. It's very kind of shiny. Mike says <laughs> they only have flowers. <laughs> Do you only have one Michaels near you? I mean, maybe it's just a, um, a small Michaels. I think I'm going to put this on the edge of the uh, frame, too. <laughs> Oops. Oh, darn. I just dropped my paintbrush. I might have to put this down with something else. Oh, yours is a small one, yeah. So that's probably why. Let's see if we 
could even color this metal. I bet you this metal would look. Let's see if I can color that. Yeah, that looks better than that bronzy color. So there, you can see that now. You can see that one? I like this one a little bit darker. So I'm going to do the sides as well, too, I think. Oh, that looks really nice on there. Can you see that? The gold there? That looks nice on there. But I, um, I only used a matte medium, gel medium, so I probably will have to go in there with something a little bit thicker. If you can see it's kind of there you can see it right there it looks cool though I think of a word that I could put on there that's what I need a word use uh, PVA glue mm -hmm. yeah I'm gonna have to I'll probably come back and glue it down with something else I like the smell of these wax too. They smell really good. So can you see the you can see it there. I'll have to glue that down. Um PVA. I could probably glue it down with this one. This PVA one. If it's open, let's see. Is there any other one moving? That one seems to be okay. Thanks, Joan. Thanks. Thanks, Orla. All right. Right. I really don't think we need to add too much more to it, do you think? I could probably add some more, maybe stamping. Oh, I love the smell of that. <laughs> I love the smell of that. So that one was the Age Bronze, which is more like a gold color. Let's see, maybe I'll add some more stamping. Have some of this. So let me get. To, I have some gold. I don't want to do the brown, so let me get my gold stamp pad. So hold on, I gotta go get it. Because <laughs> that's in my Seth after bag from the Queen's Ink, which is on the stairs. Let me get it. Just fast forward a minute. And then the last thing I'll probably do is put some splats on it. <laughs> uh, what was that? You got booted out? Oh, how rude. All right, so I have some of this. So you're not going to see, whoops. 
Not going to show a lot, but it does show. You can see it. Looks pretty good. <laughs> so if you can see, can you see the gold in there? Right? Yeah, right there. You can see it by the key there. You can see the gold just a little bit. Just had the Claire right there. Let's see a little bit inside. Right, right in there. There you go. Right there, you could see it. All right. I think we're gonna do some splats with the dark, dark. So maybe I'll go with this, even this darker one. This one's the mud splat one. Let me get a thing here. Let me shake this up first. Still didn't come up with a word. What can we put on there? Anything? <laughs> I still gonna have to put some more glue on here. Thanks, Eileen. Oh, that was way too much. <laughs> way too much. <clears throat> I'm going to have to pull some of that off. Let me see if I can put some of that back in. Way too much. Hanging out with my friends. <laughs> Sweep that off. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> splats right there. Anything in those die cut words I sent you? Oh, um, let me see. Oh, I think I got the dream. I'm trying to think where those are, Joan. <laughs> I was lucky to get all my my steampunk ones together. Let's see. Oops. I go fell. <laughs> I have the smile one I can put my hands on right away. And what's the other one? Oh, just drop something else. <laughs> I can either put the dream or I can put the smile. What do you think? Dream? The dream? And we can, um, you love the splatters? Or should we do the smile and then I can emboss it? Should we do the smile? 
for the dream. This one that says dream. Smile. Okay. Let me clean this up or get that all over. <laughs> Smile, smile, dream. We're going with smile. <laughs> All right, let me just, I have to just check one thing that I dropped that it's not opened. <laughs> Hold on. Just to make sure, and it was. It was open. <laughs> it's my stamp pad, so I'm going to make sure that doesn't get ruined. <laughs> All right, so we'll do this one. So we'll do that in, should we do it in the antique gold? Or I think that, I think we're going to do it in the fractured ice. I just love that one. <laughs> fractured ice. And then we could rub some of the gold uh, wax over it. Sorry, guys. Smile it is. <laughs> So Sunday, I have to work on probably my card class. So we'll probably be going to work on cards with um, the stress oxides, probably. Um, and then Wednesday, I'm trying to think what next Wednesday we're going to do. And then I think I only have one more week after that. And then I have to get things settled, home and stuff. So um, probably only like three more streams, I think, before I leave. And then I'll be gone for three weeks almost, so... So a month without streaming, <laughs> probably. But my shop will still be open. Jimmy will um, deliver my stuff for me. All right, so we're going with the fractured ice. Where is it? Oh, I can't pick it up. This one's a real pretty one. I don't know how Paul thinks that she can, um, she says she can. I'm hoping she does try, but she says she's going to try to um, reproduce these. I think they were really unique things, so I think it's going to be hard. He can! <laughs> yes, I have a shop now, um, but it's it. I'm order put placing an order, so probably like the second week in April I'll have stuff on, and I'll talk about it more then. But, yep, yeah, he can! Nope, it's not going to work. Hold on. Yeah, right now I only have my cups in there and my layouts, my scrapbook layouts. But I'm hoping to have some of Jane's stencils, her die cuts, um, her inks maybe. I don't know. If you guys have any idea what you want in, um, from my shop, just let me know and I can place an order for stuff. Yeah, my shop's called paintandpaperstudio.com but like I said it's not really loaded up yet there we go so in a couple of weeks okay yes you stay tuned thank you all right so we have our smile So this I'm going to put down, I think, with this PVA glue. Plus I had to put this one down. It's like not really on there. Okay. 
Nobody seems to have what? Fractured ice? Really? Not even Emerald Creek? Really? We'll have to ask Seth about that. Because that's where I got it from, Emerald Creek, because he placed um, his order through them, and she mailed it directly from Canada. I'll email him tonight and then ask him if he has an idea, if he's carrying it in his shop or not, and then I'll let you know, Dorothy. All right. So now I think I'm just going to smother this down with, um, not even anymore. Yeah, I would like to know what other other ones, like I've never been on their site. Do they have an actual site, the Emerald Creek? I know Jeannie um, said that um, she has some of their Allure embossing powders and she says she loves them. Maybe we'll take a pre-order. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna have to put a little dot for the eye. Let's see where I see the black here. There we go. Yes, I do. Uh, and a Canada one. Oh, okay, I'll have to check it out. Like I said, I've only bought them from Seth, so I haven't really checked out um, Emerald Creek site. So, all right. So, so I think that's just about it. it. Came out cute. I really like the background compared to the first one. So I think I'll be brave enough to show you what my my one was in class. Let me just clean up here a little bit. Oh, thanks, Eileen. Can you tweet it to me, too, please? <laughs> Can't get to it right this second. All right, so let's clean this up. Put this over here. All right, so... So I'll move you out one. Thanks, Joan. Thank you very much. Because if it wasn't for Joan, I wouldn't have all these awesome dyes. <laughs> uh, all right, there. So you'll agree. Thanks, Gail. Yeah. So this is Seth's technique, how he does the background. He actually um, just kind of like scribbles around. And then he picks a focal point, although I probably have like four focal points <laughs> compared to his. So, thanks, Gal. So, this is the one that we did, which I like so much better. And this is the one I do not like at all. <laughs> this was the one that I did. Ta-da! <laughs> which I hate. I hate this one. <laughs> but you can see, it. like I said, I was looking for more blue, yellow, and orange. And it came out red, blue, and white. <laughs> Plus, the girl didn't come out. I had to stamp her up on paper. Ugh, it was a mess. This is so much better. <laughs> That will look good on your wall, Orla. <laughs> Thanks, CB. Yeah, I like this much better. Oh, I lost my little clock. This I will hang up now on my shelf. I don't mind putting this one on the shelf. <laughs> I can put it with my other steampunk stuff, so. All right, so, so I think that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you, Eileen. <laughs> Um, so Sunday we're going to work with um, Distress Oxides. i got to make some more cards for class. And, um, yes, yeah, so I'll find out about Seth's um, 
with this fractured ice and then I'll let you go guys know on Sunday what he said about that and then don't forget you can also um, ask him yourself at Barb's um, on her YouTube channel how to get creative.com on the first Friday which I believe is April 6 at 2 p.m. Eastern so thanks Eileen yeah so now you have an idea of kind of what you want to do with yours I don't know if you're gonna go steampunk but you know bring stuff that you know that you kind of like see <laughs> I would have brought like something you know I probably would have brought mermaid stuff but I like steampunk too so <laughs> oh thanks Orla <laughs> All right, so have a good weekend. I hope we can get out from under the snow. Oh, thanks, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. <laughs> and um, I will have a good weekend, and I will see you on Sunday. Hi, Cindy Lou. I missed you there. <laughs> yeah, something too. I was like, Jennifer tweeted something, and I was glad she did. Oh, the mermaid book. If you saw... Um, Oh, I can't think of her name. I went to the Comic-Con uh, thing, and she is coming out with a new mermaid coloring book. Oh, my gosh. I, um, so I pre-ordered that. Um, so thank you, Jennifer, for sending me that. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Oh, you're welcome, guys. Thanks for hanging in there, and I will talk to you on Sunday. Have a good weekend. Bye.